God bless you all. Also, curse my bleeding heart, but save those poor defenseless animals. And ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's dive on into the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 Any% percent Run with TK Mala. All right, we good? All right, countdown in three, two, one, go. Oh, I messed up. That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did you mess up the timing, but you missed the frame perfect trick at the yeah, very beginning. Yeah, I missed my first frame perfect trick. There's a bounce that you can get at the very start of the game you that saves maybe hey, like up, a man? microsecond. You just kind of jump oh in man, place. That's a bad angle. Anyways, this is Pro Skater 4. My name's DK Mala. Yes! And I'm back, so this time with a hat. Just kidding, I'm not gonna wear that. Um, I'm on Pro. I am Shockwave. And Gwish is over there. Yeah. Hanging out. I don't know if you can see him, but. <laughs> 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 He's still here. The beard is not gone. Ooh. Thanks, Vince. Alright, so, unfortunately, on this game, we don't have a, we kind of don't have anything to do once we complete the goal, because we have yeah. like a seven second cutscene, which is kind of annoying, but There's no with. way to skip it currently that Yo. isn't a untested trick that was, well, I thought I found, but George knows everything about every game that has ever existed for Tony Hawk. Yeah, he, so. He, he just, just keeps them in a secret file in his basement. And then whenever we think we find a breakthrough, he tells us that that's existed for years, and we just never knew. It's always fun. George Strout holding. Yeah. <laughs> also remember, celebrate our America with an American tribute. Yep. He's made sure to bring his American tribute up to the stage. I did it for our country, and I did it for Horse of the Sea, who is all of our dads. All right. As far as the run goes, uh, the first couple of goals are pretty standard. This is a kind of a dumb trick. I'll see if I can get it. Yeah, uh, I missed um, it once. I'll try it again. You can ollie up and you'll do this strange bounce and carry your speed oh, and launch I missed you it twice. up to the K. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. But yeah, you can do really weird things with ollies and it looks cool and it's kind of fast. So we do them, but they are not safe at all in an actual run to do. Yeah. Well, I think there's you the speed can spell. two in the run currently. There's that one and then there's one coming up in Alcatraz. The Alcatraz one is safer though, a lot safer. Oh yeah, that one's basically 100% consistent. You know what you're doing. Oh yeah, if you, s so normally you think, gotta go fast, go as fast as possible for a speed run. For, for whatever reason, if you wait, I think it's like two and a half seconds or you wait for three pumps of your arms, you will go way faster on this goal than you would normally because you like keep your speed and build it up and then you go down the ramp with it and it carries through the entire thing. He also does a jump and it lands on a ramp so he speeds up that way as well. Gets mm -hmm. even more speed. Yeah, unfortunately oh, I missed it, but Yeah, Ollie's back. Yeah, Ollie, our favorite boy, our boy Ollie's back in this game. He wants us to collect the elephants. Not Ollie over him this time, unfortunately, but Nobody knows why those pink elephants are there or what they are, but we can only assume. Hey, you're pink back. Elephants are on parade. <laughs> a big thing to note about this game is Indy 900 is like the Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. like you get a stupid amount of points for doing an Indy 900. You get 11,000 in regular and 13,000 in Switch, which is far more than any other version of the game. Uh, the only goal. Close to it is the 900, which is 2,000 less, I think, in each one. Yeah, it's 2,000 less. So. But it is slightly faster, which makes it nice Barely. for certain things. Yes, yeah, so you tried the speed of it for the point value. That's, but Indy 900 is so OP, why not use it? Use also, that. you might be noticing I'm dropping off rails a lot. We use, um, it's called drop down. And we use it a lot in the run now um, because it's just really efficient to use compared to just ollieing off a lot of rails. Yeah. Do you guys know how to count to 10, by the way? Or no. no. All right, so one, two, all right. four, da, 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 seven. Oh, dang, I messed it up. Oh, it's close enough. I, all right, okay. sorry if your ears are bleeding now. Uh, that music is a sound effect and not music, so it plays blasting through your ears every single time you play that goal. 
and it is Check very fun. Also, I love that spawn point die. for uh, that goal. So, so we don't know what he's doing here. He's doing a combo and then ending the competition right away, and that keeps his combo oh, for reasons. Yeah. It, it doesn't make any sense, but it works, I guess. It works for all but one of the competitions that he does in the run. Yeah. I, we don't know why just that one competition it doesn't work for, but it doesn't. Because consistency is not the forte of the Tony Hawk series. Matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. Every single game in this series has some weird thing on the PC version that keeps it from working. Yeah. Except for Tony Hawk 1, because that's no there's PC. no PC version. <laughs> if only. And also, every PC version is just a nightmare to get working in general, Yeah. let alone play. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 will crash no matter what. Uh, Skate 3, or sorry, Pro Skater 3, the EXEs are named Skate. So this is actually Skate 4 we're playing right now. Yeah, we're, I'm playing Skate 4 actually. Everyone wants Skate 4, but as a matter of fact, it's been here for years, right under our nose. Yeah, um, it's got Kareem Skate Campbell game. suit. What else do you need? There you go. This is a bad spot for that. That was weird. A lot of these combos are just straight flatland, just it's a lot faster to do flatland than actually go in air for most things, just because of the way combo works. Hey, you see these for special tricks, we usually pick them with purpose. American Tribute is for July 4th, and that is the most important part of this run. Nice. But normally, your special grind does not matter, because the, the speed usually doesn't differ very much or matter. Having American How? Tribute changes two of my goals. It just changes the combination for a special, yeah. which isn't too big of a deal as long as I read the screen. And the other one we have is One Wheel Fireworks, which is important because it is the fastest special manual in this game, so it allows us to pull off combos quicker. And then, of course, we already went over Indy 900, having so thousands of points that job. it shouldn't, but it does. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Hang on, that I do that? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, if off the you space. don't ollie at a like better point earlier in that, that happens, and it's really unfortunate because it doesn't let me do what I want. For and some reason, this is like the one goal in the game that you can't sure. drop down to land. You have to ollie off the rail for it to count. All right. Yeah, so if you didn't know, there's a waypoint system in this game particularly. You can set one custom waypoint on the map, and then you can warp to it anywhere. So it's the one of the only games that has that, I believe. Uh, a lot of the games have it. It's just a lot of the games also have better ways of maneuvering around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, Thug One has it, I think. Yeah, Thug it Two does. has it. But they're like hidden away in really weird menus. And yeah. Oh yeah. You the can't use to them get there is very long. Also, this oh. makes a lot of sense. You can't use them during story mode. I'm in just Thug two and Thug one. super speedy. Oh. If you sketch a car and then grind a rail, you gain extra speed. Mm -hmm. I call it super sketch. I like the name, but That's I don't think we have an accurate. actual name for it. Do we? How about just illogical? <laughs> illogical that, that also describes <laughs> most of this game, though. That's the Tony Hawk series. Yeah. In a nutshell. For example, coming up here. Yo. Um. I don't know what to say about these signs other than we really okay, don't we're like them. Oh, okay, that Good. jump is very difficult because right. it may not look like it, but there's a little bump at the end. You hit that, you go flying into the ocean, you, you have to dry off. off your clothes and try again. It's just, it's a huge hassle. It also makes you cry inside, which is not fun. Time for the dumbest goal in the game on the PC version. Yeah. Oh, if you don't have a frame limiter on this goal, it uh, doesn't, doesn't work, work half the time. It just doesn't. Like, like you'll get to this last part, well. and it'll right there, work. it'll give you the last gap, but it won't give you the goal. You'll just roll right off, and the game will pretend it never happened. The game's just literally uncompletable at that point, or that goal's uncompletable at that point. Mm -hmm. So it's that's why we need to use a frame limiter for that yep. and reverts working properly. A couple of manual goals in this game are just very yep. wonky to say the least. And it's not just manual goals, as we'll see in a couple levels. You, uh, it's another competition to just abuse the whole end your, end your combo in the middle of the air. Yeah, so TK, you want to explain the name Crad Lover you have and, uh, and the history behind those names? It's my secret romance with my partner. No, okay. it isn't. It's, um, there's this guy named Crad who, I mean, him roughly started playing at the exact same time 
or started speedrunning, I guess, at the exact same time. But he's like way better than me. Yeah, he's been improving this game for years. And the reason why we love Crad Lover as well is when TK Yo. first started running Pro Skater 4, he would constantly change the name of his character to Blank Bopper to whoever was next in his sight lines as TK <laughs> is out for blood constantly in the leaderboards and will stop at nothing. So at first I believe oh, it was Who Bopper? Uh, first one was Yib. Hey, yeah, Yib's the try to enjoy a bop. Yeah, it was Packle Bopper, Yib Bopper, TH Bopper. Up, he just kept working his way up the ranks until he got the crab and he finally threw up his arms and said he's way too good and changed it to Lover. You can read a couple donations here. There isn't really too much going on in this level. Yeah. We have a ten dollar donation that says greetings for, or I'm sorry, ten dollar donation from anonymous that says greetings from Germany. I love skateboards and skateboard accessories. Good luck, Tony boys. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. My boy and bride. <laughs> All right, this is a little dumb. This is the other bounce that I was talking about, Hi. where we just hit that rail and go really high in the air. It's really nice to make that really efficient to do. Yeah, that's all we have to say about hey, that. You can read more donations if you want. We're just collecting letters that are magically floating. We have a $5 donation from Arthur22 that says, Love the show. This is my first time donating after many years watching. My girlfriend, Rian, is watching in the stream background while she works from home. Please shout out her name so I can see if she notices. Rian! We have a $10 donation from Casey89 that says, shout out to this awesome commentator, take my money. We have a $100 donation from Anonymous that says the kids love watching games done quick. Their favorite game is Shovel Knight and they are excited to watch it. That's a good choice. We have a $50 donation from Scratch Butt that says, at work and I can't watch my favorite childhood game being destroyed, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. To think of the time I wasted believing I could unlock Mario as a secret skater. Good luck to the runner and happy 4th of July to everybody here in the USA. Money goes to runner's choice. USA. USA. <laughs> it's pretty Mess, uh, up, unfortunately, but. Well done, kid. How about the Tetris? Uh, there was a Tetris incentive. I forgot what it was. Like, showcase? Uh, yeah, I think there's a Tetris uh, showcase that is a donation center. Let me check that. You guys should do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here it, it is. Fun. The Tetris TGM3 Master Mode uh, is currently resting at $2,089 of $12,500 to meet that incentive. Oh, yeah, put it towards that. All right. I know a lot of people that think Tetris is not a good speedrun because they're like, oh, it's Tetris. Look, well, I'm not going to say you have a wrong opinion, but that's a wrong opinion. You should check it out. All right. Also, you can bail nice yeah. water, and that'll count. I don't know why, but... Normally, you're supposed to land those for them to count, and if you bail, you'll fail. But right. to go for a swim and you're, you're a okay. Everyone's childhood crushing yeah, this goal. Is, this is the infamous goal of everyone's childhood. This is just insanely hard for no absolute reason. There's like one small corner that is really easy to mess up if you're not yeah. paying too much attention. So the first two runs are relatively easy, but it's the third run that starts to kick into gear. You're just doing some snake zigzag maneuvers around. Ooh, uh, I've bent that super close. Nice. nice. First try. Nice Those gates are extremely unforgiving if you just pass right through the cone. It's like, nah. I don't feel like it. This is my too. least favorite goal in the level, which it doesn't seem like it, that looks really easy, but <laughs> yeah. That goal can be a really The way big you pain. have to ollie over that hut is extremely weird because you'll, when you play this game, the obvious intuition is, oh, boneless makes me go higher, it always higher, all that. For whatever reason, on that ramp, you have to air out and then late ollie in order to do it. You can't boneless off because you won't go far enough. You can't no comply, you can't regular ollie, you can't spine transfer, you, you have to do it this very specific way. And yeah. it's not that easy. Definitely need to be cleaned out before they go back on the job. Right. Uh, wait. I'd also like to bring to attention the great voice lines that are in this game. Very slept on. Miss Ramos. Yeah. 
Tanayok has some of the best dialogue ever conceived in a video game. I'd agree. It's unfortunate we didn't get Alyssa Steamer's famous lines. <laughs> Whoa, he did the dip on the dip. Whoa. <laughs> also, Bam has some pretty good lines. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. I was really worried that the trip out here would be ruined for these kids. <laughs> Calm down, Claire. <laughs> Let's see if Bucky freaks out too. He's got some pretty good ones. I cannot believe he just did that. that was Thanks, boring. Bucky. Yeah, close enough. At Bucky least he's supportive. Bucky's very supportive of you, and that is a trait like that I can respect. Oh, this goal is kind of silly now. Yeah. yeah. So no hitting the bottles and stay in the bowl. You're technically supposed to stay in the bowl, but there's a small little lip on the outside there that you can see. And that still counts as the bowl, because All it's right, part God. of the bowl. It's really that simple, but it's also stupid, because you're supposed to be on the actual bowl part. I knew you had it in you. Good job. See, Bucky's so supportive. He I really know. is. Bucky needs to be my personal trainer when I speedrun. Oh, there we go. He just oh. made Ego. He just made Steve jump. <laughs> There's the frame-perfect trick we tried to get in the beginning and failed miserably. Why didn't you reset, TK? Come on. You're right. It's always awesome. No run is complete without it. Exactly. So, we're gonna try and make as many people jump as possible. The skull's really unforgiving if you mess up, so I'm gonna really hope I don't. Yeah. There's actually a funny thing about that is if you do an Indy 900 straight off the ramp off that, it's 11,000 points exactly, that doesn't count. Oh, yeah, yeah. you always have to do one over what's told. Anytime you have a point goal, you can't do exactly the amount of points or it won't count because that would make far too much sense. The Tony Hawk games can't count at all. Or we saw how they counted to 10 earlier. Yeah, and it's funny because just one game later in Tony Hawk's Underground 1, there is a spine right, transfer you goal where you're supposed to do 360 spins. Mm -hmm. And I did a bunch of testing on it, and I found out that, so one spin, or no, it's two spins plus zero spins equals four spins. Uh, two spins plus one spin equals four spins. Two spins plus two spins equals four spins. Two spins awesome. plus three spins equals seven, um, and so on. So What you you're saying is math is hard. Yes. yes. It's very hard. For very. Never saw programmers. Hey, TK, can you give me three reasons why Shipyard's your favorite level? Oh, hey, this boy. This is. <laughs> this is the level. Uh, it's a level. Like, besides the first level, because job, the man. first level kills everyone's runs in every game, this level, like. There's so many. It can make your great run become really reset worthy. To there's, say the least. there's just so many objectives or like different things that can happen that just screw you over. So like he'll do a jump here. You can get magnetized to the wrong rail here, and that's yeah. also can just can screw yeah. you up. And you have can to also keep just miss the rivet. Yeah. yeah, you can also do that. Thankfully, I didn't. Yeah, this is one. A of lot those of goals. the goals in this level are really unforgiving if you mess up, mm -hmm. because they're pretty long, and there's no good way to recover. There's also just a bunch of crap like everywhere. Like yeah. there's no real conceived like way to kind of navigate the level. It's just kind of like here's some shipping containers. Here's a giant rail that just kind of extends around the whole level. Yeah. Oh, here's a neat trick. Here. Right, so oh yeah, you actually got it. This is kind of silly, but you can get multiple. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, what he's slaps. doing there is shuffling on the buoy because it is you can shuffle between. Uh, like if a rail has two sides, you can always do a shuffle, and that's technically just like a really really small rail. So, I'm surprised he was able to do two there. That's actually quite difficult to do on such a short trail. So, good job. It's like okay. almost frame perfect input to do that. Oh, well, you can get up to three. Also, this goal is really hard for people, even though you don't have to really do anything. Yeah, you can literally take your hand off the controller and just hold all of it, and you win. But that's too difficult, even for people like me. That might have been too easy for you. Alright. This has been going pretty well. TK is really good at doing nothing and doing better than everyone else. You want to talk about your D-Rust hey, world record the other day? <laughs> or the other <laughs> well, there's this uh, conception in the Tony Hawk community that every time I start D-Rusting, I'm just going to get world record because it tends to happen pretty often for some reason. Yeah, he, he will drop a game for months, come back, and uh, get an insanely good time. Just, you know, because. Oh boy, I love that. I just love that crane. Most infamously, he came back to Tony Hawk's American Wasteland Classic, did two runs, and tied the world record. 
at the time. Yeah, I, that, I, I, I still don't know play, how I did it. I played the game maybe for like a week before for, I don't know, maybe a decent amount of time. And then I was just like, oh, I'm going to tie this today. Some people weren't very happy with my commentary on that run either. And then people had the audacity. He had the audacity to say, I bought George. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> the entire community has not quite let him down. Let him let that down. All right, so here we get the competition that isn't broken. Yeah. You actually, you have, actually to have to land these, and there's really no reason why you have to still. Like, I don't know why. Nobody knows. The game just wants you to land it, I guess. It's better to pretend to not care about it than to try and find the answer. Because the more answers you look for, the more questions you have. And the more questions you have, the more you want to pull your hair out. And so. you don't want male pattern baldness at your mid-twenties. So I'd highly recommend against Ooh. it. Uh, oh. The skull's really hard, actually, to do like cleanly. It's um, just the graffiti game mode for multiplayer, but as a goal. Yeah. And the route for the okay. Yeah, don't this. don't reset. I know that's the instinct. Oh. Oh. That rail is always pretty unforgiving. This last thing is um, the last inner one is really hard to get consistently. It won't count the last oh, one. Like oh. this. No. No, don't bonk me in the rail. You can do it. Okay. We did it. So that goal can be really unforgiving if you mess up anything. Yeah. It's really hard to get it consistent, but if you do, it's really rewarding. It looks extremely cool if you do it correctly. No. Oh, 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 uh, uh. Okay. okay. This is Shipyard, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Right. I don't know why Bucky's standing there. He's, he's supportive, but he's not very smart, so. All right. That's a new find right there. That makes no sense. Well, it does make sense why it works, but it's just really dumb. What you're intended to do is go all the way up to where they had the container and lift trick off of that and I'm then drop the down into the pool. Yep. But we could skip all that. Um, and lip tricks in this game are extremely hard to balance, so we'd actually used to up our lip stat all the way for that one goal. Yeah, and because of this, we no longer have to waste time doing that, and we can use our stat points for something else, which is so oh. nice. All right, so this is a little dumb, too, but I really enjoy that one. Did you get that first try? Yeah, yeah you did. Nice, dude. Uh, so basically, sometimes this game really doesn't care which way you're, you land, so we abuse that, and we land at basically almost a 90. I really shouldn't have already that, but... Um, we land like at a 90 degree angle, so it makes it really easy to awesome. get that off. No one skates like that around here. And right. here we have another manual goal that doesn't work very well. All right, it just doesn't make sense sometimes. All right, that should work. Hey, Thank God. we did it. The game didn't decide not to work. That goal can actually just ruin your whole run because it just doesn't want to work, even if you do it right. Which can be really annoying if you're on a good paced run. It's funny because Tony Hawk speedruns are one of the least RNG based runs and one of the most RNG based runs at the same time, and not for good reasons. It's just whether or not it feels like it's in the mood to work for you. Yeah, it's not, not in the mood. You gotta buy it some chocolates. No. Show, show your pride for your country, and then maybe it'll go party with you. <laughs> Shoutouts to Heaney. We're back in his home. Yep. You don't back in ye old England. That was bang on. I didn't think you had it in you. Good work. I feel like London has some of the best voice lines for the NPCs. Yeah. It actually does. Get all the combos. I believe it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, it is this one. Um, I had no idea what he was saying for a very long time, and I had to get our native Australian slash British person. He's actually British, but we call him Australian because he doesn't like it, and it's funny. Whoa, I don't think that's how that works. Hey, that always be nice to your friends, but keep your enemies closer. 
It, it made sense in my head, okay? Listen. <laughs> so did the thug one math. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it might. S oh. Ooh. It's alright. I'm not Sorry. here to he give you life advice. I am here to commentate a run of a very old game. So I am stepping out of my qualifications here, hey which is nothing. But I hope I at least made you think about British Australian people and how they might be related. <laughs> Stop talking, okay. <laughs> I mean, Australians at one point came from Britain, so. And this objective is just pretty simple. You just really wall right buses, and then you just do like a manual combo and then a special combo. That's how we do this, right there. It's easy. This is like one of the easier levels in the run. It's because the goals are almost brain dead. Yeah. Honestly, there's also only nine compared to you the usual like 12 to 14 yeah. they do in every other level. You can actually set these up just a little bit early for a slight time save, which is nice. Oh, my combos. Oh, oh, that's fine. That was amazing. Uh, you can take some donations here. We just have another competition. Yeah. We have a $10 donation from The Packle that says, It has been a wonderful year for Tony Hawk speedrunning, and I am happy that two of our best runners are showing off these amazing games. Good luck, friends, and may our Lord and Savior Ollie continue to give us PBs in the future. Thanks, Only Packle could have made it. He was supposed to be here, but he had work to do. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. We have $5 from Anonymous that says, Fell asleep to DK, woke up to Tony Hawk. I love this event. Keep doing what you're doing. We have a $50 donation from Moon's Eternity that says, good luck to all the runners, save the animals. We have a $50 donation from Chiran that says, love the runs and looking at the schedule, I can only say, who needs sleep? Donation goes to Reader's Choice. Can I get a big hype? Hype! And you know that's going to kill the animals. What, the, our hype is going to kill the animals? Or the money? Uh, and the money, both. All right. Why well, not? Double up. Okay, how dare you? <laughs> Kenny, thanks, yeah, Kenny. Kenny was so that nice was to you. Funny. Yeah, that goal's really simple, but can be really challenging in casual play because uh, this game, the hitboxes are less than ideal. Especially since he's moving around, you have to do kickflips and stuff on him while he's moving, which makes it like kind of hard. Hitboxes is one of those things that carries through all the Tony Hawk games. They're extremely inconsistent. We didn't get to talk about it because Squished actually did this first try, but the hydrants in New York City, they're actually sprites and not models. So you have to ollie over like this precise point of where they are to, in order to get the goal. And it's very frustrating if you do not have a setup for it. And even with the advent of new technology, the hey PS2, you. Groundbreaking technology. Still, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, all right, that's fun. I that's fun. <laughs> 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 oh no. It's really this first jump can be really annoying. The attack of the hippos. Because if you miss it, the death warp is really annoying. Nice hippo plant. Yep, the hippo plants are great, but it's just better to reset that goal half the time if you're messing it up. We've actually had. Uh, the world record holder lose a run to those hippos recently. So. Getting the T and the E there are one of my favorite parts of this run, just because of how clean it is. Oh, okay. that was that was not clean though. Uh, that was a uh, rail. I don't think rails are supposed to function like that, but I'll make an exception to this game. In general, the hitboxes in this game though are not good. I don't. Have we driven that this point home enough? I think no. we've mentioned the hitboxes like 23 times at this point. Yeah, so during mafiosos will be probably the most apparent. No, don't do that. <laughs> It'll be the most apparent time where hitboxes are really weird. You're gonna do the crab warp. Do you not do the crab warp yet? Uh, oh, that, yeah. I always forget to do the death warp there. Yeah, so you can jump out of bounds there onto the grass and it'll take you right to the guard. So you can save a little bit of time. Yeah, no, well that's bad. Right. This is one of those competitions that is kind of annoying. 
because in almost every competition in every Tony Hawk game, you can do a 180 boneless judo or 180 one foot Japan to get your special, your special manual, and then Indy 900, and that will give you enough points for almost anything. But here in Zoo, there is a potential that the third or fourth place person can just magically get okay, a good run in Bafi, so we try to play it safe there. Yeah, no, I always play that safe because I have lost runs there, and it's really infuriating, I guess. And Tony Hawk is saying we are on Fuego. Hey, Which is very nice of him. Also no. very supportive. Pretty much everyone in this game is very supportive of you as a pro skater, which is very nice. Except for Bam. He, he really... Oh, well, I played this yeah. a little safe. I don't need that. Well, that's a combo overkill. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh and this is why this is my least favorite goal in Zoo. Yeah, no, this goal is... An just another combo goal, but um, very high. Points. I miss my wall ride. Very high points. stakes. That works. Okay. <laughs> New strat. <laughs> good back mark. Okay, this is what I was intending to do, but oh. Nice. All right. We're almost out of this level. There's really not much to say about it, except there's lines, and I don't know how that guy's not been mauled yet, but luckily we're just in time to save him with a veiled combo. There's and like a weird glitch you out. can do here, you can like start driving around the cutscene or something like that. Oh yeah, if you get eaten, um, like we said before, Ready it still counts your combo a lot of the time. Um, you can get control in the cutscene, but it's really hard to, I guess, use it properly. Because you could end up just going way away from anything. Because your camera is locked to that position, but you have free control of your character. Exactly. Alright. This is the last level of the game. Yep. The last new level. I Yo, guess, yeah. That's a fair point. So oh, here try is for something here. One of the biggest learning points in the game. Because, oh, know. you really have to have a good understanding of the game's mechanics and speed flow in order to do this combo efficiently. One thing we didn't touch on earlier with the Indy 900 is that you can use reverts to cheese it a little bit. And after reverting, you can ollie and then immediately start spinning and it'll add points to your Indy 900. I need, like, Because normally you're not supposed to spin the Indy 900, but if you have enough air time or you cheese it with the revert, and don't do a trick afterwards, it'll keep adding to that trick as if you were spinning it, which is also a huge benefit of it being worth 11,000 points. Yeah, it's a lot of you don't know, it's like insanely punishing. When I first started running this game, I didn't know about that, so doing 90,000 points, like, legitimately without cheesing the Indy 900 is insanely hard. Yeah. You got no get out of jail free, get off your board card in this game yet. <laughs> That will come later. Uh, make the game really easy. This could be bad. Uh, oh no. Oh! oh. oh. Right. The subway can troll you there pretty hard. If it's coming, if you hit it, you bail and you fail the mission. Can't give people the pizza that's been bailed on, unfortunately. Yep. They you don't do like you dropping your pizza. pizza. You do a lot of people's jobs for them in this game. Yeah. Like here you're delivering pizzas, you had to inventory some freight You had to collect the rivets, you had to, you were about to bug some mafiosos for an undercover cop. Um, you had to go collect rental gear at the skate park. It was like everything. Hey, you. You're just a freelance for hire, honestly, in this game. And they say skaters are lazy. Oh, Maybe man. that's truly our passion. Not what skateboarding. But so the hitboxes on them are actually like in front of them. Yeah. Which wouldn't make too much sense, because you would think it'd be on top of them. No. I'm about to troll you a beat. Okay. Yeah, he didn't even say anything. The hitbox was so far away from the guy that you didn't trigger the well, good work here. Thanks, his Keith. dialogue. <laughs> so it helped our friendly neighborhood. Him. Yep. Right. Their purple hat guy. I'm not sure if that's the undercover cop legal word here. The 
sorry for all the children watching. This skull's actually not too hard, but the next skull's got actually something like a little funny with it. You can just completely ignore some of the text uh, that it says, like uh, sort of a restriction of the goal. Ah, uh, the goal right after this one. Let's go after this one. Yeah, but this goal is very. This goal's dumb. Another goal that doesn't usually know how to count. There, there we go. go. You knocked over two and you only got one. Yeah. Actually, yesterday in practice this is the first time I've ever uh, gotten oh, perfect ten. Yeah. <laughs> just did it again. <laughs> no, he missed one. Oh, oh he actually missed, missed that one. Yeah. Also, yeah. another bail into the water scene, which is great. Yo. So this is the one that doesn't. Remember work. to stay on the ledge. Yeah. Bye. Bye, <laughs> ledge. We won't <laughs> see it again. <laughs> For some reason, if you grind that rail, it just completely ignores everything around it, and it's like, you're still on the ledge. Yep. Let's see you. Hi, Ollie. And, <laughs> yeah. You don't see him, but you can hear him. He's right there in the corner. Oh. And, uh, Yib, if you're watching this right now, nice we'll, we'll I almost missed it. <laughs> we'll never side. let you live down that pop shove it. All right, so this can be really challenging for a number of reasons, but that first part is the main reason. Oh, well, oh I could also just forget the manual. Uh, this combo is deceivingly hard. You have to really control your speed and know what you're doing here. Because otherwise, you almost failed there. Smash your face right into a wall. You, since you have no stat points in um, in both manual and rail, you can bail really easily if you're not paying attention. Um, oops. Nice 900. Thanks. I like my kick flips. Oh, I think I was doing a heel flip. It was the wrong move. That's all that matters. So we're coming up on the last normal goal. Yep. Because you have to obtain 90 in order to unlock your character-specific goals. Oh, yeah. And this is a little finicky sometimes because you have to bend the angle or just miss. And you may have noticed that uh, we actually can't pick pro skaters in this game. We don't have to use creative skater, but it's best to because we can one, edit our stats, two, edit our tricks easier, and three, the pro goal we have is pretty fast. All right. I'm not so sure if it's the fastest, but. This is the last goal of the game. We have to become a movie star. Mm hmm by hitting green switches very loudly oh that last switch on the side can be really finicky especially because i try doing something that's faster than what's intended oh. there so it can be super easy mess up oh boy oh, sound hey, that's nice. audio. okay that's fine because that's a very loud boom oh, oh no it's oh, okay oh. you can salvage this hey you got a hundred dollars uh, you're already on time it's really one of the money and time. Time. <laughs> exactly 10,000 cash left over. Yeah. Time was a 37.34. That's pretty good. Yeah. Nah, I was off my estimate. A little bit. Only a little off. But I, I said he'd get a 36.17. All right, so now. Just like Pro Skater 2, we're gonna crash the game. Write this down, kids. Wait, we're cheating? I thought this was a speed run. You're right. <laughs> Invalid run all of a sudden. All right, so single session. This game. We do it with our favorite Django Fett. And to Chicago we go. All right, so we need some holy special, some moon gravity, and some matrix mode. No disco. Oh, yeah, disco. you're right. We need disco mode, too. Whoops. Uh, epilepsy warning here. There's going to be flashing colors. So just be careful. So would you like to go in the air? Hello? We cannot leave Earth. So ideally, you're supposed to blast off into the air, but we don't want to, I, assume, I guess. Thanks to Django Jump Jet. Yeah, Django jumped just. It's supposed to put you in the air, but. It's supposed to. 
All right, Django jump jet. Well, I guess we'll have to do this the harder way. You have cool specials on, maybe? Would that do it? No, that wouldn't change it. All right, so instead, oh, actually, just to make this safer, I'll do this. I'm gonna cheat a little bit more. Wow. Right, perfect sketch. No, I need perfect. <laughs> Only there special. There's no perfect slots. manual. Oh yeah, perfect manual. All right, this will guarantee it, unless I just mess up horribly. So the idea to crash this game is that you get to 250 and your combo. Oh uh, well, we wow. messed it up. Okay. Unfortunately, well, it's not doing what I want it to, and either way, so. But we would have gotten to 250 and crashed the game. But anyways, that is Pro Skater 4. Thank you for watching. And thank you, TK Mala, for that impressive Tony Ox Pro Skater 4 any percent run. Coming up next, we have I Am Bred Any Percent run by Blood Thunder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick moment to have a word from our sponsors. And welcome back, everybody. We have a $50 donation from Milo Suits that says, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was insane. We have a $10 donation from Mitsuhito Honokaguchi that says, shout out to the great doggo on the mic. Another SGDQ and my wallet is already crying. As always, great event and insanely fast games. Money goes to the dog's name in Earthbound being Mike. Who's a good doggo? Yes, you are. By the way, to anybody watching, shame is a foreign concept to me, so expect me to do things that would make normal people. Mm. We have a $10 donation from Pelzio that says, this is the first time I've had a chance to watch an SGDQ. I've always been into gaming since I was a kid, and seeing people destroy them for charity is really heartwarming. You guys are doing great, and I am glad I can help to a good cause. This money is going towards level one lingering will. Make it happen, people. We have a $5 donation from Lavender that says, big shout out to my awesome friend, Mike. You know, this has to go towards the Tetris Grandmaster. Loads of money. We have a $25 donation from Anonymous that says, thanks everyone for the awesome speed runs. Let's hit a million. We have a $5 donation from Snowby that says, finally I vacation the same time so I can watch GDQ this year. Looking forward to the Half-Life runs later and enjoying THPS 4 in the meantime. We have a $10 donation from Robot Jester that says, keep on melting my ears with that chocolatey voice, Mike. And I hope that couch is as comfy as it looks. We have a $25 donation from CC that says, for some reason I keep forgetting to donate to GDQ events. I think it's time to break that habit. Hopefully next year I'll break the habit of forgetting to attend. Hoping everyone there is having a great weekend and I look forward to seeing more games beg for mercy. We have a $15 donation from Ninja Kid that says, hey, long time watcher, first time donator. I've started learning Skyrim many percent because of how much all of these events and speedrunners inspired me as Burn refuses to cooperate. We have a $15 donation from Shra G that says the Tony Hawk runs were awesome. Seeing a part of my childhood being beaten so fast is simply amazing. Greetings to my brother who is also watching right now. Save the frames, kill the animals. We 
We have a $15 donation from TH126 that says, Thank you to the two great young men representing the Tony Boys, TK and Gwisht. We are very proud of you. Oh, TK, hopefully you can still get that sausage, but most importantly, do a dip on the dip. Rooting for you always, TH. We have a $25 donation from Fog that says, Hey, TK, don't think I forgot about you. Your run is going to be TNT Dynamite. From one goat to another, good luck and have fun. We have a $10 donation from MX Mad that says, Gamers United for a good cause. Much love to all the runners. Kill the animals, kill them all. We have a $10 donation from Vantage828G that says, what game involves killing frames or animals? Half of the donation goes to that smooth-talking reader's choice, the other to Mr. Meeseeks. Mine is going to kill the animals. Also a reminder and a shout out to one of our sponsors, The Yeti, the official tea sponsor of Games Done Quick since 2012. In celebration of providing shirts for their 10th Games Done Quick event, the Yeti has increased their shirt donation amount from $3 to $4. With each $11 shirt sold from the AGDQ collection, the Yeti will donate $4 towards Prevent Cancer Foundation. Shirts are available during AGDQ and until January 15th at midnight CST. Visit theyeti.com slash AGDQ and get your shirts today. We have a $5 donation from Greg that says, I love Hollow Knight so much. Thanks for giving such an awesome new title some exposure. We also have a $10 donation from Shiranui that says, So one thing that has me confused, is it white or wheat? Devs need to confirm this. Oh, and uh, kill the animals, save the frames, because MatPat said so. We have a $100 donation from Schmas that just says, Yas! We have a $10 donation from Schmooze Deck that says, Great event, great cause. Uh, one of the events that glues me in front of my PC every time. We have a $5 donation from Donnie32 that says, I love this event of video games and I want to support this cause. Good luck to all the speedrunners. We have a $23 do a donation from Anonymous that says, I bet my friends if I pass this exam, I'll donate. Eh, it doesn't seem like a bad choice to donate to such a good cause. We have another $30 donation from Anonymous that says, Thanks for the cool and awesome runs. Happy face. We have a $15 donation from Shady that says, Good morning. Loving the speed runs, and yet I haven't finished donating. Shout out to Mike the announcer. Donation incentive goes to announcer's choice. 